Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. For many decades, few scientists have challenged the mainstream theoretical model of the Sun. Most in the general public today probably believe that astronomers have a good understanding of the Sun, and no reason exists to question the solar model we learned about in school. But in truth, countless seemingly unresolvable mysteries of the Sun continue to haunt scientists today. Is the electric universe the key to a new and better understanding of the Sun? Here's Cameron Mercer with the Thunderbolts Picture of the Day managing editor Stephen Smith as they provide a brief introduction to the electric sun theory. Over several hundred years, astronomers studying the sun have amassed a laundry list of anomalies. But these apparent contradictions arise only if the solar system is electrically inert. Take into account the sun's electrified environment and its connection to galactic currents, and the anomalies disappear. Well, the general premise is probably thousands of years old that we could be living in a dynamic solar system where electricity plays an important role. But it's only been in, say, the last hundred years that scientists have given serious credence to the possibility. And since electric universe theory assumes that celestial bodies interact through conductive plasma and are connected in circuits, the Sun is also assumed by electric universe theorists to be electrically connected with the galaxy as well as Earth. So the Sun can be thought of as an electrically charged object seeking equilibrium with its environment and the charges flowing into and out of the Sun increase and decrease to the point where it releases plasma discharges called solar flares or coronal mass ejections and sometimes it uh, doesn't display any sunspots or any major coronal activity at all. And after all, the sun's electric field extends for billions of kilometers, influencing the planets and their motions, as well as how they interact with each other. Now, if the environment of the sun is electrified, then we would expect tangible effects on all other charged bodies sharing the same environment. This effect is testable. We suggest that this effect can explain many anomalous behaviors of the solar wind, including behavior so outrageous it defies kinetic explanations entirely. Yeah, on January 20th, 2005, a coronal mass ejection achieved velocities greater than anything any astronomer had ever seen. It often will take 24 hours or more for charged particles from a solar explosion to reach Earth, but this one arrived in under 30 minutes after the explosion. So energies to propel a proton storm 96 million miles to Earth in just under a half an hour is pretty unbelievable. That's uh, an incredible amount of energy. Back in the day when NASA scientists were talking about this, one of the quotes was, for reasons no one understands, these fields exploded, unleashing as much energy as 10 billion hydrogen bombs. So one wonders what drives the sun to throw off billions of tons of solar material and accelerate it to thousands of kilometers per second. The sun's heat and radiation pressure can't explain how charged particles accelerate out past the planets. No one expected the acceleration prior to the discovery of the solar wind. And in the electric universe, the obvious explanation is that there are electric fields in space. And since particles continue to accelerate out into the solar system, since they don't have little onboard rockets on these particles, then something must be drawing them onward. And the only thing that can uh, accelerate charged particles is an electric field. Since these charges flow through the solar system, then it seems reasonable to conclude that the dark mode solar plasma or the solar wind is affected by the electrodynamic fields of the sun and by the fields of the planetary family. Solar flares, the corona of the sun, and all the other solar phenomena result from changes in electrical input to the sun. The sun transacts with all the family of planets in the solar system, and it probably is transacting with the interstellar medium as well, since it's powered externally and not internally. 
it must reach an equilibrium with the electrical environment of the galaxy. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to Thunderbolts.info.